Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender 2.81 tutorial. Uh, today we're going to take a look at soft bodies and curves. Basically, we're going to do a stylized banana. We're going to learn how to use curves. We're going to learn how to use uh, taper objects, how to set up uh, soft body animations, collisions. So let's get to it. We're going to open up Blender 2.81, select everything and delete every everything in the scene. We're going to add a camera and we're going to set it to be in autographic mode. We're going to go to top down view and we're going to set it to top down view. So the camera is facing downwards. We're going to change also the dimensions to 180 by 180. I'm just super sure. Okay. We're going to use a reference here. So basically we're going to add background images and I'm going to add a reference of a banana just to get like a very vague idea of what it looks like. And we're going to try and follow the shape. So basically we're going to add a curve and a path. I'm going to position, let's say, the GX and we're going to position this one at the cusp of the banana basically the upper portion of the banana and the second one we're gonna put it here yeah like so now these two because you get five vertices we're gonna delete the middle vertices and we're gonna move the middle vertex down so basically this is gonna be our main form our main position we're gonna add another curve which is gonna be a bezier curve we're going to move this just a bit out of view. And here in our object data properties, we're going to go to geometry and we're going to first increase. We're going to select the banana line. We're going to increase the depth to about, let's say, 0 0.4. And we're going to select the taper object, the Bezier curve. And this will actually allow us to control the width of the banana so it scales along the actual banana now the thing here is it, it it takes a bit of time to to get just an approximate let's say an approximate form of the banana it takes just a bit of back and forth so test everything try everything uh, move it around see what what the controls different controls can do you can also move like the original shape like like so for example just as long as you get let's say just an approximation of the shape that's the main thing this is let's say pretty good so we're gonna use this shape right here we can decrease the the resolution sorry in the resolution we can decrease it to three that yeah, seems fine and we're gonna go Alt C and mesh from curve. This is gonna create a mesh from our curve. We can delete the Bezier here because we don't need it. Now we're just gonna very quickly just fill out these. You can choose the edge loop here. You can F to create a face. Let's say Control B to create like a bevel, like that kind of thing like there. And we're gonna go here gonna choose this one again go into top view we can also use like the inset so we're gonna just insert the faces control and then move the mouse slightly up so we can sort of follow the the actual like the curve we're gonna do the stem here very let's say very general curves very general stuff nothing too specific try and model it as with as few vertices as possible because we're gonna need that later for the soft body again so let's say this is like an approximate just an approximate shape so this seems let's say good enough now we're gonna do just a quick subdivision surface just to see what happens yeah we can also let's say bevel this thing here or inset this stem like just raise it up a bit insert it again put it inside a bit that's it so like so we have a general just a general banana form 
and we're gonna set up the soft bodies now. So I'm gonna name this banana. Okay, we're gonna go Shift A with mesh. We're gonna add a plane. Let's say about here. We can also do an infinity plane, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna do a larger plane. And we're gonna just drag it out a bit. So in edit mode, press E to extrude, and we have this. I select everything and control N just to make sure that the normals are all right. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna lift the banana up, like, yeah, like so. And we're gonna set up our soft body animation. Now, the first thing, the plane, we're gonna go into our physics tab right here, physics properties. I'm going to set a collision. I usually leave it at default. And if there's any sort of need, just correct it with the thickness outer and inner. That's enough. Banana. And we set up the soft body. Now for the soft body stuff, it's extremely important that, for example, you nick this goal away. So this is basically what's going to keep your banana in place if you leave it. That's like the first trick with soft bodies. We want to deselect that and the next control we have are the edges now if we press play this should in terms fall on the surface but what happens is it just flattens out it's not responding the way that we want to we want it like a floppy banana type of thing so what we're going to do is we're going to just increase the pull we're going to increase the push and then we have the bending. I usually, for this type of stuff, I usually put the bending at about eight and this should now work. Yeah. So we have a very soft and very floppy banana over here. We can basically rerun the animation when it's baked and that's it. Now, if we want just a bit, let's say a bit more interaction, we can actually just duplicate one of these and rotate them randomly. Again, press play. It should, you should like bake the physics before you try it so you can see it more precisely. We're doing here just like this very easy type of test just to see what happens. And now, as you might have noticed, the two bananas clipped. That's because you have to set the collision for both bananas. Basically, when you set that up and you restart the whole process, it's going to put the interaction between the two bananas and they are actually going to respond with, a, with soft body physics one against each other. So basically, you get this floppy effect of like food falling all over. You might have seen that in like some YouTube videos or Instagram, Twitter, whatever. This is kind of the way I would approach it in, in Blender. It's easy and gets like a quick results um, for a short fun animation with floppy food that doesn't act like it should. It's extremely useful like this. And again, this, for example, it's a bit it's a bit rigid. So if you'd like to, you can go out, you can control the bending. So maybe they could have a bit more bending. Let's say let's put it to seven, you know, play again. And again, this is this is just a trial and error kind of thing, especially in soft body physics in Blender. So be careful how you set up your collisions. Uh, usually just these settings can you can get away with these settings very easily, but sometimes you have to take into account maybe uh, stiffness, self-collision also. So self-collision basically means that the objects, when they squish, they don't squish through themselves. So that's another thing, another point you might uh, take into account. So that's basically it. Hopefully this will help you out with your motion graphics. If you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, I always appreciate that, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!